guys what's up her share from android solutions so guys i am back with my new video on this samsung galaxy s2 and in this video i am going to show you how you can install the omni roam in your samsung galaxy s2 which is based on android 5.1 that is lollipop so guys you were, uh, you may have noticed that um, i am also uploading the videos on this uh, redmi note 3 So guys, don't worry. I will post the videos on the both of devices simultaneously because uh, I have seen that I have covered most of the ROM parts on the Samsung Galaxy S2 and that Redmi Note 3 is latest with the new ROMs. But guys, don't take any tension. I will provide the links and make tutorials on both of the device. I have not stopped making videos on this Samsung Galaxy S2. So please keep subscribe to me. and thanks for uh, your support guys i have actually completed my 1k subscriber this month so guys thanks for that so guys in this video first of all let me show you my device info let us quickly jump into the settings about phone so guys you can see clearly that this is the resurrection remix version and i am going to try the omni roam on this resurrection version i don't know whether the omni roam will boot on the stock roam So guys, make sure that you also try the resurrection remix uh, room, and over that you can flash the only room. So as you can see, its Android version is also 5.1.1, but according to me, only room is far better because it has very less load rails. That is the system apps. It has only according to me uh, 8 to 12 system apps. So therefore, that room is quick. and fast so guys first of all let me show you the chrome file and its size quickly jump into the file manager you can get all the required links in the description box below so guys don't take any tension and you can find every each and every link in the description box below so please check it out so guys you can see here is the omni roam and its size is about uh, 187. 92 MB this one this room and in this video i'm going to flash this room so guys firstly download the room and place it in the sd card that's too obvious and now i'm going to boot into the recovery mode firstly power off the device and now we have to go into the recovery mode and if you guys don't know how to install a twrp in your samsung galaxy s2 you can watch my tutorial on how to install the twrp in our s2 s2 that's a easy and quick tutorial and guys i have recently updated the twrp links and if you guys want twrp 3 you can check that video of installing twrp in s2 s2 i will place the link of the video in the description box below so make sure to check it out so guys now we have to press the power key the volume up button and the home key three of them together until you see the samsung galaxy s2 text and the red exclamation mark on the top so guys now you can leave the buttons so guys you can see it's team in the project version 3 now first of all we have to wipe the data click on advanced wipe select the first five option make sure not to select this micro sd card or you, else you will format your sd card and guys also one thing that after this wiping process your internal storage will be totally formatted so please create a backup before this step so as you can see it's over back now swipe for the factory reset you can directly flash a swipe from here now back back now guys we have to install the rom first of all locate the rom uh, you will have, you have to choose this micro sd card now you have to locate your rom so guys here you can see the last one omni 5.1 now you have to swipe to confirm the flash it will take up some time you can see here return omni firstly it will format the system so no, no need to take worry let's 
let it take some time. Have some patience. Don't let the uh, let the screen to be unactive. Tap on it. And guys, you can see now it's over. Now we just have to reboot the system. Here you can see the Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 GTS 7552. So guys, here is our new boot animation Omni logo. Cool, no? Now, guys, you can see this green color Android in this circle with this Omni written below it in green text. Guys, at this uh, boot animation, the ROM will uh, optimize its app. So, guys, it will take up to uh, five to six minutes. So, please have some patience and please don't remove the battery, or you will definitely break your device. Because if your device have booted to this stage where this is showing this boot animation logo. It, uh, the room will definitely work and the device will 100% boot up and guys now you can uh, suggest my channel to the redmi note 3 users as well because as you have seen my new redmi note uh, 3 videos on this on my android solutions channel so if you have any friend or relatives uh, who is interested in this uh, room process room flashing process or tutorials you can recommend my channel and I will make the videos on the both of devices uh, on this Redmi Note 3 and Samsung Galaxy S2 H2 regularly and also guys if you faced any problem you can comment uh, in the comment box below or if you want if you guys want first reply you can uh, message me on my Facebook page whose link will be in the description box below and make sure to like that page also and if you guys want to be added in the whatsapp group of my channel android solutions you can message me on the number given in the description box below in, in that message you will get the updates of the of my channels when i'm going to release the new video and on which device and if you guys any problem you can also take the help there with the other members also because in that group there will be the members for, of only of the redmi note 3 and s2 s2 users so you can share your problem and post about the new stuff on the samsung galaxy s2 s2 or redmi note 3 and other technological stuff i don't mind some time more Guys, you can see our room has booted up, and actually you will not see this pop up because actually I have sim, uh, put the sim lock. That's why I'm seeing this stuff. You can see this after you uh, flash this room successfully. Update preferred sim network. Do you want to use sim for that? Yeah, you can click on yes. Got it. So guys, you can see it's our new Omni room with this new gallery button. And guys, these are these are the only apps which you will get with this Room, Gallery, Settings, Phone, Message, Toolkit, Voice Dialer, Manager, Email, Documents, Clock, Calendar, Camera, etc. etc. So guys, you can just enjoy this room. Actually, this room is somewhat smooth than the previous rooms on our Samsung Galaxy S2 S2. 
can select the wallpapers here from the here and you can select any of the wallpaper black hole bubble spiral polar block spectrum etc and guys let us quickly jump into the settings and you can see the new settings but it is somewhat same like the cyanogen mode because it is based on the cyanogen mode rom only you can here set the performance of the cpu you can select the maximum speed so that it enhances the performance of your device and it makes your device smooth and in the about phone section you can find out the omni version is 5.1 and android version is 5.1.1 that is lollipop now you can see the sound and notification settings it is somewhat same or similar to the cyanogen mode zoom only so guys that's all in this video if you like my video then please subscribe to my channel and if this uh, room work well for you then please like my video so guys thanks for watching of the video see you in my next video hello guys harsh here so today i'm going to show you how you can replace the stock room with the s6 room we know well that the samsung is not going to give android updates in this mid budget 4 inch tft touch screen display powered by 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor along with 768 mb ram if you are using this smartphone and looking for a way to install